obviously a game I thought was clearly a tale of uh, understatement, tale of two halves. Um, first half we guarded our tails off defensively. Uh, you know we're uh, we're struggling offensively, but uh, it's okay. Twenty five. It's okay to be twenty five twenty ugly, uh, and then we you know our defense leaves us in the second half. You know they shoot an astronomical number. Score 49 in the second half. So, again, uh, no level of consistency on the defensive end of the floor. And then I thought we contributed to that by panicking and shooting the ball quick and taking some bad shots in that same stretch. So, poor combination. Um, clearly had a bad stretch in the second half there. And technical foul situation with Taylor, uh, eight nothing swing in that stretch. Uh, obviously didn't help us. So, uh, the young kids, we got to continue to learn control ourselves, not beat ourselves, just keep beating ourselves. Another example of beating ourselves, I thought this afternoon, uh, no disrespect to Tulsa, but we beat ourselves, nobody to blame but ourselves. So, um, you know, another painful afternoon, uh, frustrating to say the least. So uh, we've got to learn, continue to get grow from it, gain experience through experiences, and, uh, and move forward. Questions? You seem to start with a bigger lineup with checking. We were going to shake the lineup up no matter what, and then Ryan couldn't practice yesterday. That's why he did not start. You know, I just have to tell We practiced yesterday. He was unable to practice along with Tamron. Uh, they didn't or no contact. So I have a general policy. If you don't, uh, if you don't participate in practice the day before a game, so there was nothing there. But we were going to shake the lineup up no matter what. It might have been more if guys were healthier. Mm -hmm. So uh, we just obviously have you know trying to find some answers clearly. Tom, when you have a young team, in particular a team that's young to Division One basketball, and something goes wrong, like Ryan gets his two fouls, personal and technical, did, did ten, things tend to snowball? Yeah, there's no doubt. We melted. You know, we melted. You know, we hit adversity. It hit us right in the face, and we, we caved in. You know, as a group, you know, no one feels worse than Ryan right now. Clearly, uh, extremely poor decision in the timing. But yeah, you got to respond. You got to rally, and we didn't do it. You know, I thought we we caved in caved in and crumbled, uh, which is really uh, not a good feeling, to say the least. So what do you do to try to coach that out of a young team, or do they just mature? you got to learn, you got to learn from it. You know, you got to show you, you know, we'll hash it over again when we meet, you know, Monday. Uh, he'll bring that particular young man in to see some things, you know. They had it happen. They also had it happen, but they didn't crumble. You know, they, one of their kids got his fifth, same, similar situation. What um, I mean, what's you've had a hard time keeping Ryan on the floor for a full. Well, he kept himself off the floor in the second half. You know, there were still minutes to be had if he didn't get his the technical foul. You know, makes it his fifth. You know, so poor decision on his part. He knows it. Make no mistake about it. I feel like when young guys try and. They see one of those runs coming. They try and make the 18-point yeah. play in the perfect play. Yeah, you know we try to get it back in one possession. You know, understand? You're down eight or so. You know you got to grind it right there. You know you're a possession by possession situation. Every possession on offense is valuable. You can't just puke or shoot a, a, a quick shot, bad shot. The shot we did, we contributed in the same stretch. You know, we go down the line, and we had some open looks we didn't make. We had some wide open looks we didn't make. Uh, we're challenged offensively right now. Can't seem to uh, can't seem to get some guys to play play well on the same night. You know, it's kind of a broken record. You know, but Chris had a decent bounce back game for him, but uh, we just can't get guys to play well uh, uh, consistently on offense. You know, you just don't know right now what you're getting night to night with each guy. You know, and that's it's hard. It's hard, and we're you know we're limited a little bit. So, you came out and seemed to control the tempo in the first half went to halftime with a five-point lead, and like you said, it kind of crumbled and fell apart in the second half. Was that in large part um, to your defense, your offense, or, or a combination? I thought of our defense got really poor, and I thought some of our offense contributed to that. They got in transition. We did a really good job in the first half, and I think limited them to maybe one three. In the second half, they, they, they kind of they hit a couple threes to get them to go five for seven from three, 61 percent from the floor, just not, you know, not, enough, not enough quality stops. And then we contributed on offense by 
shooting it quick, being impatient, poor shot selection. So, as a coach, I know that you know a lot of times offensively you preach make the extra pass. How do you sort of turn the skill back a little bit and, and do just get back to simplicity? Well, you have, you have to execute better. Sometimes, you know, shots that win one night, everyone thinks it's a good shot, and then they still not, not, not the right shot, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, learning shot selection, and, and we've got to do a better job getting the ball to the right spots, you know, at the right times, you know, uh, having patience, which, you know, has, has been an issue at times for us. First half, it seemed like the offensive struggles didn't get to you on the defensive end of the floor. Was that the main we were challenged offensively. We were challenged offensively in the first half. At 25, I thought you know we missed some opportunities uh, again. You know, uh, we had too many turnovers at the half nine maybe. Uh, but uh, what we were guarding, you know, we were guarding. You know, you know, I don't know. The defense in the first half's in front of the bench. We we're helping talking through. You know, the second half it gets opposite the bench. There's you know, a lot of theories that go to it. We fatigue. Playing six or seven guys, really, you know, Taylor was really 11 minutes of, you know, was futile to be honest, you know, in terms of just the volume of enough minutes. You know, we know he's a talented player. After this, you you all go on the road for two games. And how tough is it to turn around after uh, having two games at home and, and losing those two? And how tough is it to go back out on the road after that? We'll find out. <laughs> They, anybody here has the answer? None of you all have the answers. None of the fans have. We have the we 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 have to find the answers. You know, we have to find the answers. So uh, you know, we'll get back at it. Learn, teach, continue to try to get better. Uh, get the same players on Monday that we had today. So I've got to do a better job. I've got to do a better job. Staff's got to do a better job. Players got to do a better job. And the answers are are within us, not, not on the external. It wasn't, wasn't that hard to get turn around and get ready to play. We were ready to play today now. Let's get that straight. You know, you know, let's get that. We were ready to play. No mistake, about, make no mistake about that. Now, we didn't play well enough over 40 minutes. You guys are all tired of it. Everyone's tired of reading it, hearing it, saying it. You know, consistency. We won't, at the end of the day, we will not succumb to ingredients for success. If we guard no matter what. Offense, we can be challenged, we can miss, we can be quick, but some of it contributes to our defense. But if we, if we guard for 40 minutes, we have a chance. If we guard it the way we did the first 20 minutes, the second half, even if even as challenged as we can be at, on offense, we would have been fine. But we didn't. We didn't. That's on me. That's on me as the head coach. Thanks.